Welcome back everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, so we're going to start working on the third member. Uh, but before we start on that, we need to make a mount for it. So stay tuned. and in a hurry it's not the prettiest but it's gonna do its job and that's all I need Just... <laughs> so what we have here are two four nine inch third member this one is the original one from the one I've been working on but this one has a gearing of 270 which I think it's kind of high for the application I'm going to be running so I'm going to use this on here which is a 350 I think which is much better than the 270 so got some parts on the way Tear it down, put it together. So, have the third member mounted up. It's pretty good. At least now I can be able to turn it around if I need to. Something stable, I can work on it. I am in no means no expert at this. I'm just learning as I go. Just so you know, I marked the caps. See those little dots right there? Two dots. Two dots. Just so I know which side goes on what. This one has a single dot. Single dot. Focus, focus. Here we go. everything torn apart um, <clears throat> so this is an open diff um, third member so what I got planned for this is one of these things it's called an Aussie locker um, I've ran one of these before on the naps and they seem to hold up pretty well, so at least I'll have some some type of traction in the back. Won't be doing them one tire fire, you know. Hopey, hoping. 
but they look pretty um pretty good finish made in america always like that so try to put this in there see if we can do it all right so just finished splitting up the case i'm gonna start taking out all these gearings replace it with the locker took the 350 gearing gear ratio and then put it on here took it from that nine inch <clears throat> but I got a good deal on this 411 so time to swap out again Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> All right, so I got the bearing, bearing race on. Try this up.
this one on now. Okay. Stand by. shims in here. Just now I just gotta figure out what shim I'm gonna use. Oy. Stand by. I think that's too much. Not enough preload. Touching this part right here. So I need to make a little bit of dirt. Hopefully that doesn't uh, hamper the structure. I don't know. But it's meant for the 4 9 inch. So I don't know. Just a little bit of this right here needs to be cleared out. Alright, so got the backlash done. I have to make that clearance for the gearing super close but it clears it so we're good now let's put this bad boy together all right so got my backlash set got my preload set on my pinion on my third member so I guess we're good over here. Got my marking set. Both sides. Pretty centered. Looks good. So I guess we're all set. Let's put this back in that uh rig. Also just gonna put a little bit of RTV on that drain plug I welded earlier just so you know as a leak through. Just a little bit of that, like that. <laughs> so focused. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> but, getting ready to put the third member in. So, stand by.
putting some anti seize on the joints the threaded part so you know hopefully we can take it apart later if anything put some grease in that thing lubed it up I'm about to put it together 